What's up, y'all? Back with another video. Today's video, as you can tell by the thumbnails, about Miles Borkin, uh, his rap breakdown from 2020. Let's see the good, and the bad about it. So let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel. And again, it's Coach Evans here. Uh, Sip the Tyler Films, and again, today we're breaking down Miles Borkin. So last week we did the, the route breakdown for uh, Hollywood Brown and the little the little bit we can find on Deion Kane also. So this morning, uh, started at about, about 6.30, uh, since we're finally out of school, and I started with uh, Miles Borkin. And um, Pro Football Focus, not Pro Football Focus, I'm sorry, I don't use that. That's PFF. I, I'm tripping. Boom. No, I don't use that. Pro Football Reference is what I use. Um, they have him for 33 targets and 19 receptions in 2020. I have him, by looking at all of the, the game footage, for 38 targets and 21 catches. But some of my plays may be penalty plays that didn't necessarily count toward um, a a real play, so to speak. Because, you know, if um, maybe catches a catches a ball and then it's holding they take it out. Well, I physically saw him catch the whatever, so I counted it in mine. So that's why that's why there will be a little discrepancy on it. But let's go through the route breakdown, and then at the end we'll get some film on. <clears throat> um, hitches, four for four, four hitches, four catches. A little shallow route. Shallow route is uh, what I describe as um. Basically running behind the defensive line, but in front of the linebackers across the formation. That's the shallow route. Uh, quick out, he was two. Oh, in the shallow, he was 0 for 1. Uh, quick out, um, anywhere from a 5 to 8 yard out. Um, 2 for 4, 50%. Um, I got what we call sitting over the ball. And so it's really a hitch, but you kind of work your way to the middle of the field and kind of sit between the linebackers. So I had it in the hitch category at first, then I took it out because it's not technically a hitch. He's just going sitting in a certain spot in the zone, and normally it's over the center at about five yards. Um, it was two for two on that, 100%. Uh, corner out, one for two, 50%. Post, one for two, 50%. Uh, the deep over, which um, we talked about in the last video, is anywhere from 12 to 15 yards coming across the formation. And gaining ground as you go across the formation. He was four for nine on that. Uh, fades, 0 for 5, 0%. Uh, glance, two for two. And glance is uh, like a timing route. It's 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 a um, it's the baby of a post and a slant. It, and most people that uh, that have you know football knowledge, they know that glance on that fifth step, the ball should be hitting you you know right in the hands. It's a, it's a timing thing. Uh, and Glance, you can kind of say skinny post, too. You say it's a skinny post. He was two for two on that, 100%. Uh, curls, one for three, 33%. Uh, slants, which happened early in the season, he was um, two for two at 100%. Uh, one dig that he caught for 100% and a check down in the flats, which is crazy for me, crazy to me. They faked the jet motion with Miles Borkin. Who... I don't, I don't even know if anybody bought that. They just covered the deep guys and let him go to the flats and do it to him in the flats as a check down. But I'm not faking a jet sweep with Miles Borkin. And if I'm on the defense, I'm not even buying that. So, <laughs> that was that was the first game of the year, though. Uh, he had four touchdowns. And um, the biggest discrepancy to me when I finally, you know, put all the stats together and looked at it, the most thrown route to him was the over route. And he, did, he does, even though he was four for nine on it, and keep in mind, let me go back in and, and put this in. This is whether you catch it or not. It could be a bad throw. It could be a deflected pass. Uh, the defense could make a, a break, a good play on it. This is, you know, not necessarily, if he didn't catch it, not necessarily his fault. Because there's one on one over route in the back of the end zone. He's wide open and Lamar skips it to him. So, but, you know, it could be it could be a, a number of things, but for this instance, either you catch it or you didn't, and that's where I'm at with it. So, um, about well, getting back on the deep over route, he does a good job of working through the defenders as he comes across. 
Because sometimes his over ends up at 8, sometimes they end up at 15. And he does a good job of maneuvering himself across the field and not really being um, walled off, so to speak, with by linebackers or, 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 or low box safeties. Um, and the disturbing part of it is the fade. A guy that, and I think when I was looking at uh, Pro Football Reference, uh, his 40 time was 4-4-2, you know, at the combine. So that's pretty fast for a guy that's 6-3 and above, 6-4 and above. Um, 0 for 5 on fade. Uh, that, that's what, that's, that, to be a big body, you got to catch the fades. And if you don't catch them, they're not going to throw you, the, the quarterback's not going to throw you 50-50 balls. So, and one of the fades was a part of that communication issue. He ran a fade, Lamar threw it out. So, you know, we just, it's, it's really hard to just put your finger on it. Lock it on my finger. I'm not going to lock it on my finger. There you go. It's really hard to put your finger on it, but he just got to be better. That's, you know, in all aspects of it. And not necessarily just him by himself. Um, he has to be better to be trusted by Lamar. He has to um, get in sync with Lamar. And, you know, they just, their chemistry needs to be better. He needs to have better chemistry along the lines of of Andrews and other guys. I'm not going to say Hollywood because their bond is different because of location and culture and lifestyle and stuff like that. But he definitely needs to figure out, you know, that even though I'm paid to play receiver and I'm paid to be at this place on certain days, I better get on this guy's page if I want to be productive. But, you know, that's my two cents. I could be wrong. What do I know? Let's get into the film. Okay, let's start with the good the good part of uh, Miles' game. Um, we'll start with his touchdowns, and let, let's see what he does on the, the four touchdowns he, he got this season. This is against Cincinnati. Miles is at the bottom of your screen. He's the low receiver at the bottom of your screen. Now on this one, he runs a post. Now, I, mean, I may show you a different post too, but this one is a schemed post. He doesn't have to run a, a great route, but because the free safety takes Andrews on the over, all Miles has to do is stick his foot in the ground and just run to the middle of the field. I'm trying to see if he gave the DB a move to open him up. Okay, so yeah, he's running outside to make it look like a fade, which is good. The DB opens his hips. He stick his foot in the ground right there and cuts it back, which is good on him. And now he just runs the daylight. Now he has a clear path, all that to run the daylight because number 24 takes Andrews on the over. 24 took the cheese. Now you may see 24 flash across the screen. See 24, uh, you can't... See. He's right here. He's going to take Andrews going across, which are going to open it up for Boykin because he's the middle of the field guy. He bid on Andrews coming across because we all know we love to throw to Andrews. And went right over the top of him. Boom. All right, let's go to the next one. So this one was against the Jaguars. I think this is one of the over routes. This is Miles right here at the bottom of the low receiver at the bottom. Watch him weave his way through all this traffic. Behind that guy, avoid this guy, go to the corner. That's what I'm talking about. He just he just just weaved his way through all those guys, avoided contact, and ran to the open space. So it goes behind this first little guy. Then Miles Jack is on his plane, so he gonna you know take a get deeper, avoid the contact, and just run to the open spot. Good throw by Lamar too. Good throw by Lamar. Let's 
Let's see if we can see from back from back, back view, seeing weave his way through this. Let's see. All right, it's gonna come from your the left of your screen to the toward the right of your screen. Lift play action to Gus, which you got to respect toward the line of scrimmage. There is Miles working working across the screen now. Miles Jack's there. It's going to avoid Miles Jack and get a little deeper. It's a great throw. And good job of high pointing the ball. He don't do that enough. Good job of high pointing the ball. Damn good job of high pointing the ball. Next play. This is versus the Cowboys. We're down three. This is one, another over route. This is just another over route. Just run the open grass on this one. I think, uh, was it play action on this? And he finishes the, run, finishes the run. That's the good part about this. Finishing the run. Not being tackled. Get a little play action here. Yep. Same type play action. And finishing the run. That wasn't a great job attacking, but still. Finishing the run. <clears throat> and the fourth touchdown against the Steelers. Uh, a, maybe a over again? I'm trying to remember. Corner. Great freaking throw. Let's look at the route. Working inside to give himself space. So yeah, he needs to work inside of 99, which is a linebacker. Worked inside of him, giving him space. Because if he worked outside, he cut his space down. But the fact that he worked inside and is still untouched helps Lamar out. Great throw. You can look let's look at this from the back. That that's a win. It's tough to fit that in there. Because if you wait too late and he run out of space, then you throw it too early and the guy can just, it just hit him in the back of the head. The great job of having this mis mismatch two versus 98. Look at that. Right outside his hands. Great throw, great concentration. All right, now for some of the, the bad pertaining to um, Miles. Miles is, we have a condensed formation. Miles is right at the top of the screen. Now, as far as this route, let's look at the route first. He's running the corner, so he's going to try to get um, uh, 21 Butler to turn inside. Then he's going to stick his foot in the ground and break outside. That's what he's trying to do. So he bursts off the ball, closes, does a good job of closing the, the gap. But his, his stick, the foot in the ground, is not convincing him enough. Watch how fast um, Butler speeds speed turns and then it's still on top of him so i felt like he should have broke that more toward the 42 instead of the angle he's at he should he should have stuck that stuck that foot in the ground i'm jacking up all kind of words this morning stuck that foot in the ground right at maybe the 50 and broke toward the the 55 instead of deeper that's my two cents on it he really just sticks it and keeps running high. Now, he could have been thrown into this open area too. I will say that. He could have been thrown into this open area too. And I don't know if, if they're taught to keep it high and let the quarterback throw you down. I know that's how we kind of teach it on the high school level. You keep it high, and if the quarterback sees the position of the DB, he throws you down the field. Because you can always break and come back. You can't go flat and maybe go over top and get it. It's tougher to do that. But when you look at the back view and kind of see where the throw is, you know, like I said, I, all these are not his fault. The route could have been better. The throw could have been better on this. See, the route could have been better. The throw could have been better. Now this turns into a jump ball because he stopped because he knows where the ball is. 
Miles is still, his momentum is still taking him up the field. Now what he do has, what he do need to do is even though the ball was behind him or whatnot, he needs to rip this ball out and let it be an incompletion instead of an interception. All right, and this, this will be the last one I show about Miles. Um, go route from um, Huntley, because you can see we're blowing Jaguars out the water. But he gets, he gets an opportunity. One-on-one -on -one down at the bottom of your screen. Not a great release. They, they you know, he kind of hand fought with the guy. No real, no real footwork to so you know nothing spectacular with the feet, nothing. The hands are actually bad in my opinion. That's the DB wins that because he slows you down. Now you're you're even with him. Huntley recognizes it and is going to give you a decent back shoulder ball. In my opinion, a damn good back shoulder ball. You just and he does and um, Miles does a good job of adjusting to it. But you got to complete it. You got to finish it. This, this is how you build trust in, within your teammates. That's not a bad back shoulder ball. And it's in his hands right now. He just got to finish it. I, mean, I initially th I thought this was a Lamar throw, but this is a, a darn good throw by Huntley. You got to finish that. You got to finish. That ball is in your hands. You did a good job of adjusting. See if I can get back. Go back. Look right there. That ball's in his hands. Did a good job of adjusting. Um, his stuff off the line was at meh at best. But this part, you got to finish that. That's how you build trust. That's how you build chemistry. That's how you build a rapport with your QBs and not just not necessarily just your your starter. You did. This is how you get them to trust you with fifty fifty balls, making these type catches. That this is how you do it, but again, this is um my route breakdown, my you know description of the route tree for Miles Borkin. If this is your first time here, please hit that subscribe button. Also, when you do that, hit the bell for the notifications and uh, hit the like button too. If you like what you saw, hit the like button. Uh, as Vosh used to say, likes are more important than food and water around here. And I appreciate you guys for hanging out with me this morning. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me, Coach Jefferson with the Tally Films. We out. With the